So we're out here today fitting one of our GFX 750 Nav 900 and Easy Pilot Pro systems onto this 7620 Massey. And I suppose with this farmer, he's going to use the system in the tractor here for most of the year and during the harvest, then he's going to swap it over onto his class combine. And inside in the yard here, this farmer also has another GFX 750 on a second Massey Ferguson tractor and that's controlling rate and section control on his Roach fertilizer spreader and his Coon sprayer. And he also has a Trimble FMX display on his Cat Challenger Rogator sprayer with full auto steer, also controlling rate and section control. So this customer swaps his GPS system from his tractor onto this class combine for the harvest. So he swaps his GFX screen, his NAV 900 receiver and his steering motor from the tractor onto the combine to knock full value of the system all year round. He has a quick release bracket on the roof of this and on his tractor for the NAV 900 so it's only a matter of clipping on and off the receiver and you would have the system swapped across in 10 to 15 minutes. So in this particular case here, during the harvest there was one, the system we have on the tractor here was installed on his combine and he also has a second GFX display on a second tractor. So he was able to have his combine working on one AB line on full auto steer and his tractor and grain trailer were working on a second AB line on full auto steer parallel to the combine. So while he was unloading the combine into the trailer, he was able to get both tractor and combine driving parallel next to each other on full auto steer. So seeing as we have two GFX displays within the fleet here on the two tractors and on the combine, we can share between both displays, we can share vehicle profiles, implements, fields and AB lines. So both GFXs are able to talk to each other and you can go down the route then of linking all that data back to your PC and printing out different reports. So we're here now calibrating the tractor. So the hardware was installed in this inside in the workshop and um, with all our auto steer systems, once the hardware is installed, we'd have to bring them out into a field like this to perform roll calibrations to ensure the tractor is performing accurately on the line and to ensure excellent line acquisition. And so you'll see we'll be driving the tractor up and down the field here, setting different AB lines and ensuring the tractor will stay on the line coming from both directions. So here now we're performing a roll calibration. So the roll calibration is to ensure the tractor performs bang on on the guidance line going up the field and down the field. To do this, we drive a post or drive a pin inside the field. We measure the distance from that pin to the tractor, drive down the field and come back up the same guidance line the opposite direction we measure the same distance which should match up. If it doesn't match up, settings have to be changed in the screen in the tractor and the process is repeated until both measurements match up. This will ensure that the tractor is performing bang on down to one inch to the, of the guidance line. 